Hi, thanks for checking out my video. If you're seeing this intro, that means you are watching an individual reaction from a full album reaction that I made available on my Patreon to my super fan tiers and higher. So visit patreon.com slash and support me at the super fan tier if you would like to see my full album reactions unedited ad free. Thanks for watching the video and enjoy. Yeah, great song, glad I checked it out and I definitely wanna play it on guitar uh, one of these days, but we're gonna keep moving along. So the next track is called Weight of the World. fun. I like that. it a little bit so we don't miss anything uh this is an interesting one i the the guitar in this one kind of reminds me of system of a down a little bit the the back and forth uh of i don't know three or four different notes uh almost kind of like wheel of fortune maybe i guess um let's look at these lyrics really quick i kind of have a vague impression of an interpretation for myself but uh i'm gonna think about it here for a quick second Feels like the weight of the world, like God in heaven gave me a turn. Don't cling to me, I swear I can't fix you. Still in the dark, can you fix me? Free fall all through life. If you love me, then let go of me. I won't be held down by who I used to be. She's nothing to me. Feels like the weight of the world, like all my screaming has gone unheard. And oh, I know you don't believe in me. Safe in the dark, how can you see? So I, at first I thought the weight of the world was some sort of dark experience that she had, whether it was an abusive relationship or uh, like a dark family past, something to that effect. And maybe who, whoever she's spending time with, whether it's friends or a romantic interest, like they just don't understand the feelings that she has or the thoughts that are racing through her mind. Um, but now kind of rereading it where it says like God in heaven gave me a turn – don't cling to me, I can't fix you. I almost feel like she's feeling the weight of the world trying to better this person that she's with, but they are too blind in the dark to see like their own issues, and you can't help somebody who won't help themselves. So that's kind of where I'm at with it uh, so far. Um, but yeah, really interesting guitar lick, really uh, solid melody. And I, I do like the, the whispered layering of harmonization that she does at the end of the Weight of the World line too.
Great, another solid song. Uh, this one also has the same credited songwriters, Amy Lee and Terry Balsamo, except this one it's in the reverse order. It's Terry's name listed first, so maybe they were the primary, maybe they were the lead writer on this one. Um, I also feel like my, again, tangential familiarity with Evanes Evanescence is that they were this like super hard metal rock band who had this like again angelic front singer and a uh, lead singer and, and Amy Lee, but I mean they're really essentially just a pop band. Like the majority of songs that I that I've heard so far, the entire first album and the first few tracks here to me read as like relationship breakup love song stuff that you get in standard kind of pop music. You know, Gaga, Taylor Swift, or whatever. You know, Katy Perry, uh, and so it's funny just like. Just the the impression that the tone of the music can give to a first time listener or an outside listener, um, where there's probably people that write off pop music who would probably enjoy it if they gave it a chance, and there's probably people who would enjoy rock and metal music if they gave it a chance. But because of that tone, you know, if it's not a familiar sound that they grew up on, they, they're kind of stuck in their ways, you know. Um, but yeah, this one. I, I, yeah, I feel like it's kind of about both subject matter. I feel like it's it's about an internal struggle that she's having where she doesn't want to be this person that she was in the past, but she's also trying to help better this person that won't better themselves. So I can see weight, you know, the weight of the world, whatever it's supposed to be, being those things combined. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It could be both. Um, so yeah, another solid song. Let's keep the train rolling. Next track is called Lithium. Uh, the only Lithium song I think I've ever heard in my life is Lithium by uh, Nirvana. So I don't know if this is going to be a cover or any relationship or if it's just a coincidence that it's also titled that. So let's find out. Hey, you made it to the end of my video. You know what that means? You get a reminder to like the video if you haven't already, to comment if you haven't already, and to subscribe if you're new. Do all, th all of those things now.